Hi guys, today I'm sharing with you my empty products. I have quite a lot to go through and it's mainly skincare and hair care products because I kind of think that that's really what I go through the most because I try to stick to products that I really like. Whereas with makeup I kind of switch foundation and lipstick and blusher every single day I'll use something different. You'll be able to tell by the amount of products I've got to show you that I've been collecting for a little while. Um, I probably have missed out a few bits and bobs here and there. It's kind of hard to remember not to throw products you don't products that are finished away rather than keep them. It's kind of a really unnatural thing to have to do. I'll start with shampoo. There's two shampoos that I've gone through recently. I've recently finished the Moroccan Oil Moisture Repair Shampoo, which I did really like. It's a little bit too heavy for my hair, so it wasn't something I would use every day. I just used it when I kind of felt that my hair needed a little bit more moisture. It's also like SLS free and all that sort of stuff, which is really good. It's perfect for coloured hair. And my favourite shampoo ever, which you can probably tell since I've got two bottles of this which have finished. I must have been collecting this for a really long time because these shampoos last me a re like last me a good one and a half to two months considering I wash my hair every day. I do rinse repeat as well, so I get through quite a lot of shampoo. This one is the Lizelle Botanical Shine Shampoo. This is my favourite shampoo of all all time I'm using this again um, I don't know if any of you know but I have hair extensions in I'll put the link to my review of them below but I've had them in for about three months now and you can't really use products with sulfate in it because it can break the bond so I've been going for these just because well I love them and they're sulfate free which is always a plus as well I finished my Bumble and Bumble thickening hairspray I'm onto a big bottle of this I think this is okay I don't absolutely love it I really like the mousse but um, I wouldn't say this is anything above average. Although I do quite like thickening um, products to put in your hair before blow drying. I kind of feel like it gives your hairstyle something to hold on to whilst blow drying. Staying on Bumble and Bumble, I finished my dry spun finish. Um, I love this so much. I also, um, I've been using this with the Pretta powder, which I'm going to feature in my hair care video but this is really nice I would repurchase it I've got another bottle already on the go and it's really really nice it's a little bit expensive but it just kind of adds a little bit of texture it's quite nice through the ends of your hair as well I'm dying to put some more in I, I might have to do that moving on I also finished the Sebastian Potion 9 it looks really battered because I've used it for quite a while um, it lasted quite a long time Even if I'd repurchase it I'd consider repurchasing it's kind of just like a nice extra to have in your hair I'm not really 100% sure what it's supposed to do but I just kind of felt that it was a nice almost like a primer for the hair and I quite liked it as that but it wasn't something that I was using continuously which is why it's so battered because it's been in my room for such a long time um, the Philip Kingsley Da daily damage defense I actually have pretty much stopped using this it's supposed to be conditioning it's almost like a leave-in conditioner and a heat spray and since I can't really use conditioner on my roots and that's where I need this I've pretty much stopped using it but every now and then when I really just need a, to brush the top of my hair because I don't have extensions on top of my hair and it gets really knotty because you can't really condition it as much as you can the roots um, I use put this through it. I, this is my second bottle. I had a big one and this is my small one now and I love this I cannot live without it as soon as my extensions have come out I'm gonna buy a big bottle because I use this every single single day as a heat protectant But also to kind of get all the knots out of my hair and I have very very knotty hair So this is perfect another product that I wasn't overly keen on was the Philip Kingsley one more day I don't really think any dry shampoo compares to Batiste to be honest so this was just Okay, I don't really remember the smell too well if I'm honest, um, but yeah, it was just average. Next on to skincare, and I'm smirking because this is my love slash hate product. I shouldn't use this, but when it's in my house, I can't help it, and that's the Bioderma. This one is for dehydrated skin, but ironically, the reason I can't use this is because it dehydrates my skin so much. I cannot go near this, but the temptation to use this instead of... A proper cleanser is really tempting on really late nights or when I'm just too tired to drag myself into the bathroom and stand there in the cold washing my face. So I try not to keep this. I was sent this one and clearly I used it but I, I can't recommend Bioderma. I just 
it just dehydrates my skin way too much. I know a lot of people love it. It doesn't work for me. I can see, I can totally see the appeal, but it completely ruins my skin. My face cream for about the last month has been the Hydra, Hydra Quench, Hydra Quench, there we go, cream from Clarins, which is for normal dry skin. Uh, this is perfect. It's kind of, I pr would probably say I have normal to combination skin and it's just perfect for winter because it's not overly hydrating, it's not greasy, I was wearing it underneath my makeup. It's pretty lightweight but still an amazing product and I would definitely use re repurchase this. I'm giving a few other creams a go but I really really enjoyed this. I even like the smell, the packaging is nice, really great hydrating moisturiser if you're looking for something that's a little bit high, more hydrating than a normal moisturiser but not heavy it's a really really nice product if you're looking for something else that's kind of similar it's probably a little bit cheaper the super skin moisturiser from Lizelle is quite nice as well I would say I don't like it quite as much as the Clarins but it's a good product I've got a little tiny tiny one but I think I've had this in a big one as well I quite like the smell um, but I would definitely not say it's for everyone it's quite like herbally but a decent product. Quickly on to bath. I really want to be able to say my THs, but I can't. A lot of you leave me comments saying, oh, you're so cute, you can't pronounce your T's. And, oh, it's so annoying that I can't. I think everyone says that was a London thing, but everyone else I seem to know could pronounce them, just not me. Um, bath. Maybe, maybe not. I love this product, Nils Yard Aromatic Foaming Bath. I've had this for a while. I was kind of saving it and using it only when I really wanted like a nice relaxing bath. But this smells of lavender and geraniums and honestly it is so relaxing i really really like this it's perfect before going to to bed the packaging is beautiful it's glass and it just looks pretty and it just it feels quite luxurious and i would 100 percent repurchase this i think it's about 14 pound 50 which is expensive in comparison to like a radox shower gel but it is honestly really really lovely but if you do want something a little bit more inexpensive I really liked the Right Guard Shower Oils Women Argan Marula and Almond Oil. Marula, sorry. Which is a shower gel. It's also dry skin and it is quite hydrating actually. I don't know if it's necessarily hydrating, but it's just completely not dehydrating either. And this smells amazing. Like it's so good. And although I usually just kind of throw my things away, my shower gels away and don't bother saving them for empty videos honestly this is really really nice i 100 percent repurchase this really not very expensive at all and smells amazing okay. some more miscellaneous products starting with my favorite fake tan which is express liquid tan um there's probably one other one that kind of rivals this and it's also a liquid one it's a nice dark tan it obviously does have a slight fake tan scent but it's definitely not the most offensive at all unisex and I'd highly recommend Hishi. I'm going to do my fake tan um, routine soon because I know a few of you have been requesting that. I just haven't got around to it. I know some of you are going to think this is really tacky. But I love Juicy Couture perfumes. They just smell amazing. And this one is the Viva La Juicy. I have two or three other Juicy perfumes and I really, really like them. I don't really have a, um, a certain favourite. This one's the Viva La Juicy La Fleur. And... It's just slightly more floral than the rest of them. Oh, but it's just so nice. I've just got a couple more pumps left. Um, and I'd really recommend if you like floral scents. I like the packaging on these. I will be really sad to throw this away. Just because I think it looks so pretty. But obviously I don't need just an empty glass bottle just because it's pretty. Um, but really, really nice. I, I don't really tend to repurchase perfumes. But I wouldn't be disappointed if someone gave me this. I'd be pretty happy. Let's put it that way. Um, I kind of think it's nice to change your scent though. But um, such a great perfume. I'd highly recommend it if you're looking for a nice, sweet, pretty girly perfume. That's the end of my empties. Let me know if you enjoyed that and what you've been using recently. If you've tried any of the products that I have finished. I'll hopefully be doing some more of these in the future. I'll leave below the link to my empties blog post as well as the rest of my social media links. But I'll hopefully see you all soon and have a lovely, lovely day.